husband, an ex-husband, a dad, and a friend. The role, or several, of Jamaican-Canadian actor Damien Brown in the new sitcom House Out of Order, who, for some reason, cannot seem to keep his house in order. I don't know what's <laughs> going on there, but we're going to talk um, some more about it. Good morning, Damien. How are you? Good morning. I am good. How are you doing? I'm very well. It's so nice to talk to you this morning. Congratulations are in order. How does thou feelest? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> How you feel? Feel good. You know, it's a, it's an honor to be given this responsibility to tell this story. And also the fact that I'm able to tell it in my own native tongue is, is absolutely amazing. So nice I'm very grateful. Man. Yeah, we want to know how you landed the role, but let's talk a little bit about your journey to this point. Um, it's funny that you're playing someone who can't keep your house in order because at some point you were pursuing restorative justice and you're looking into law and keeping the peace, which is something your character <laughs> cannot seem to do. Um, <laughs> seem to have a big passion for social work and heart work, Damien. What, what is that about? At one point you're going to do law. Yes, uh, the journey started out at Children First. Uh, I'm really? Sure you... With Claudette? Yes, yes. yes no. I'm one of her kids. I was one of those kids in the bus park selling bag juice. Um, yeah, um, um, that's where it started. Um, she really encouraged us to embrace education, and, and, and that's where, you know, my love for acquiring knowledge came from. So without her and my mother and other family members i, I don't think i'll be here today so that's wow. that's where the journey started wow big up pio cinnamon my word yes 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 These organizations I, I mean, yeah go ahead Dana. i've done so many interviews i remember i was doing an interview yesterday and i started crying because i remember you know very clearly a friend of mine um introduced me to the program and when i spoke to her she she basically lay down the law and she said, listen, education has to be a part of this. I know you want to be an actor and, and we can help you with that, but you have to, you know, you have to definitely focus on your studies. And, and at that point, I didn't want to hear that. And yeah. so he said, until you are prepared to participate in the program, the way the program is set up, then you can't come. And I remember seeing the guys performing in the drama group and I said, I want to do that. And for, for all of us, it was an escape for a lot of us as young people because we lived in very violent neighborhoods. And, and so to have her uh, stand up for us and allow us, giving, giving us a space yeah. to be ourselves and, and also to teach us that we have value regardless of where we came from. And yeah. so, you know, I was very grateful for that. Yeah. How did you make it overseas? So uh, it's been a journey. Uh, through Children First, I was able to participate in a lot of UNICEF workshop. And I, I participated in a research for UNICEF called the Right to Know Project. And that landed me in New York, um, where we spoke about it. And Claudette Pius was there as well. And I did very well. And, you know, to cut a long story short, uh, one thing led to another. And someone from the United Nations Population Fund was actually there, UNFPA at that same meeting and when i came back to jamaica I asked if i wanted to be a un youth ambassador and my life changed my life started to change you know very quickly after that i started traveling to countries like switzerland um, england i was a lot in new york representing uh, the young people in the caribbean and once i decided that i didn't want to do that anymore i started applying to universities and I got into York University yeah. and yeah. I got a full, full academic scholarship from the United Nations Population Fund. Fantastic. To study there. So Incredible, yeah. incredible. But you, you left the law to go and do film, I think. Um, since then, the career has just been heading up. You stood in as a, as a body double for Idris in the movie The Mountain Between Us. You've worked with some other folks and some other productions. And now here you are in this lead role with mentors like Marcia Brown and the biggest, baddest Paul Campbell, who is just amazing, amazing. So you've had people pouring into you. And so yes. now you're between LA and, LA and where? Um, 
LA and uh, <laughs> Toronto, Vancouver, that's where the market is. So that's where I, I am right now. Um, so how so, did you yeah. land this role, Damian? So I was in LA and I was looking for management in LA and I called Paul Campbell and I said, Hey, I, I call him Pops. I was like, Pops, I'm in, I'm in LA and, and this is what I'm trying to do. And he said, well, maybe I should connect you with Jeffrey. And I, he, con he connected me with Jeffrey Gunter, who's another um, uh, icon in, in Jamaican cinema. And Jeffrey was so kind. He said to me, hey, you came at the right time because I just booked the lead role in a television series called uh, Arnold's Caribbean Pizza. And they're auditioning for new roles. So I, I went down and it's the studio. And when I got there, the role that I wanted to audition for was already gone. And there was one role left. And, but that was a role of a 75-year-old man. <laughs> And I said to Jeffrey, I, uh. I said to Jeffrey, like, this is not going to work. <laughs> you know? And he said, well, they want you to read for it because the person is not here yet. So I went in and I read. And luckily, as I came through the first set of doors, as I was going through the second set of doors, I heard somebody said, this kid is good. We should rewrite the whole role and make Whoa. it younger. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And yeah, so they rewrote the the character and made him uh, ma and made him younger. And I was the nephew of of Jeffrey's character. Um, and I did one episode of that, and then I went back for the second season. I did two episodes, and then after that, there was some conversation about me having my own show, uh, being a lead in this new show that they were developing. And you know, it's Hollywood. I didn't really, you know, like okay, people make promises all the time. You know, I'm not going to pay much attention to that. But then my team followed up with me and said, hey, they're serious and, and they want to go to camera next month. That was in, I think it was in November. And um, yeah, here we are. And here, is, here we are with House Out of Order. That's so fun. Look, LA is on my bucket list. So I'm going to fly out and... Yeah, get just get sure. ready for the traffic. <laughs> oh, all right, never mind then. Let me change my mind. Um, so tell us about your character now. You, I know you can't keep the peace, but tell us, that, so you get to bring your authentic Jamaican self to this role? Yeah, man, I'll be a part of that talk. What? Thing, man. Um, to you, man. Yeah. So where are it going to air and, and who's the target? So, I, I mean, this the Caribbean and the diaspora, uh, okay. because, you know, a lot of people from the Caribbean diaspora said they, they don't have anything that they can really attached to, you know, culturally. And so that's the target audience for this show. Um, you can see it on NBT, which is a streaming service run by the studio, uh, Harvest Studio. Um, and so you can also see it if you have Roku TV, mm -hmm. you can see it on the channel there. You can also see it on, I think it's on YouTube. So once we officially release the first episode, it, it, it it's on YouTube now, so people, people who didn't get to see it when it premiered, the world premiere last Sunday, they can go and catch up on it um, on YouTube. Uh, Sunday, this Sunday coming, we'll have the second episode. People can tune in to uh, NBT. Mm -hmm. So it's nbtme.com, www.nbtme.com, and you can, you can watch it there. Okay, and you have other Jamaicans in the cast? Yes, we have Saudi Robinson, we have Alicia Irons, we have a uh, whole Trini Posse, and some, uh, some actors from Trinidad. We have Rode, who is a pretty famous guy in Trinidad. He's on social media, huge, and he's huge on social media. We have DJ Anna, who plays my, uh, my wife. And then we have Alicia Irons, who plays my ex-wife. And we have a young man, a young American guy, his name is Tyler Beatty, I think. His last name is yes. uh, Tyler. Is a fantastic young actor. Um, he plays my son. Uh, who, who, who am I leaving out? I think that's the core. That's the core cast, right you bet there. I hope that is the core cast. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, When I get back to work, everybody will be giving me the, the, the look. Um, yeah, but it's 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 just a fantastic group of actors. Oh, and we have uh, DJ Simo, Simo, Ultra Simo from uh, Trinidad too. He plays a police officer in there. How could I forget him? Um, we glad you remember yes. before we have to wrap. Yeah, it's we have a good to, thing I remember. We have to go. Um, NBTme.com is where we can catch it. You say eventually it will be in YouTube. Damien, we are so 
so proud of you. We're going to wrap it up Thanks. now, but I don't want to go without you. Um, hailing anybody here who you want to hail? I'll give you 15 seconds. Oh, my mother, Marvin Campbell, my dad, Chambi Brown, uh, Garth Brown, I love you guys, my sisters. I um, also want to send a shout out to all the producers and the writers on the show. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, and I want to send a shout out to Child Christian uh, Assistance Center, an organization my sister um, is a part of. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for your support. Keep watching. Remember, tune in on Sunday, NBT. And also, it's on Flow. Okay. Flow one. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. on Flow. It's so your Flow. Right. Okay. Got it. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate okay. it. Continue to soar. We are proud of you. Big up Claudette Pires and Children First and the work that her organization is doing. Because look at this man's story. We are waiting for the book, Damien. Thanks for joining us. Jamaican-Canadian actor, Damien Brown. Stay with us, folks. More on Smile right after this.